Finally, the recalls come through. Miss Fortune has her own Gale Force. I am reasonably partial to at least some level of crit on the Miss Fortune. Gonna go in for the play. Double auto oh, gets the Q. Oh, 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 oh. My word, that is a lot of damage. An execution from Viper's Gale Force. Ruler tried to get away, but Flash was not enough. You get the kill down so damn quickly, he can't press R. I mean, you. You blink and you miss it. I feel like even last time. Oh, Angel looking. But no! He gets deleted! Deleted! Viper is just too big right now. EDG take out the two biggest threats. And it's all done. JJ gets the kill. You have no damage. You have nowhere to go. Triple kill for Viper. Has himself the stopwatch, buying as much time as he can. Has it been enough though, is the question. Deft moves over, they're looking to try and take down the Baron before anything can happen. Baron, oh! no, it's going to be stolen by Viper. It could be all over from this point as we see our first shockwave on the score by himself. And Griffin lose no one and steal a Baron with a Swain? It's a disaster for KT. Let's watch what's actually happened here. Smite available for score. See if he gets DPS down and forced to smite early. The redemption comes and he smites at over a thousand. What is he doing? That seems like just a mistake, honestly. Unless they were trying to time it with other spells, you know, Deft's piercing arrow does do a lot of damage. Yeah. Mind Drain 1v1 now with Colt. He does have a lot of sustain and he's got some support from Mako as well. Everybody arrives and Viper's there to grab the kill secure. That is questionable at best from Colton. Okay, and Viper. Viper. <laughs> I, I don't know what Garvey was thinking. That's not a 1v1 that you want to take. Overall, this just feels, this was just absolutely beautiful, Viper. He has full knowledge of where Garvey is. So he sets up the feathers, flashes in, and uses the W to call them back. That is honestly so mechanically big brain from Viper. There's the flash from Tarzan trying to turn We're it going. around. Gets knocked back. It's Rascal that's able to help out there as Cuz should go down to the passive. The Q from Viper is enough for that. As Def looking for a way into this fight. The Q able to do some damage, but it's sort tanking the majority of it. Good knock up. Off to the side. Chovy 1v1 against Pawn, but low health bars here for Griffin. They're still pushing forward. Def has the ultimate, and now the re-engage from Kingzone Lahans. So incredibly low, Def can maybe clear this up. up. As now we've got Saw channeling the Q, but that means the Def free hitting onto him. It's going to be the Mystic shots there, and Viper way too low to get himself back forward. Zombie Sion is just a beast trying to take down Def. Like he's having a bit of a good time. He is. Uh, also, EDG having a bit of a good time. They will find a perfect pincer maneuver here from Scout on the back end. They are just taking a front to back, and it's working out so well. They're working out for a kill a minute here if they can continue to take these fights relentlessly. Cast comes over the wall, and everything is falling apart for RA. Viper will find two kills yet again. He won't find the third as more kills continue to move in. Strive will die here, and that's a triple kill for Viper for it feels like the millionth time. Andre, Searing Shard is on to nothing. Crisp again with the death sentence. Baron spawning and Mako nowhere to be seen. The thing though is we don't have Call of the Forge God, so you're pretty much relying on a death sentence coming out from Chris. And Flandre starts the engage here. One of four versus five. Viper jumps in as well onto Nugri, who's left by the team. They try to kill Flandre. Nugri runs into the pit so he doesn't die. That's only a one-man moonlight vigil with Viper. Ults into the back line to go golden. It's a massive bait as TN onslaughts to his death. A double for this import AD carry. A teleport from Scout to zone them away. FPX. You are up the creek without a big bloody oar because EDG walking towards the top side have everything on their table to eat. Crisp the final meal. It's Grog, it's Grog is gonna be Grog here. It's gonna be over the wall. Plank, can he pull this one off? Throws down the cast, but it's not gonna happen. He comes in too late after the Baron is dead. Shockwave connects in on a three. His Viper falls down to about half HP. First kill comes in, it's gonna be all hands. Getting taken out, but an exchange on the supports comes through. Viper! His effort's gonna die. Viper goes forward. He's gonna fight three. Gets taken down. Bang. Finally, getting rid of that Kaisa. This ends up going down. Let's watch how it gets low. So, Tom Kench also probably has Smy at this point. And this is a crap fest, to be honest, around who's gonna pick up the Baron. It ends up being the Kaisa of all people. Yep. We think it's gonna be just a single kill afterwards, but Viper decides to flash in. Gets an 800 gold bounty into 300 gold.
It's a lot of buttons now down as here he comes. In goes Sword. They've been split up as Chovy gets into the back line. Ultimate lands nicely from Tarzan. But will they actually have the damage? The reset for Humble Life is pretty good. Nice but Viper up. launches into the back line. And now Key's taking the focus. Tiles in trouble. The knockup is going to land as Tiles taken down. And Griffin, we always ask the question, can they get the Miracle Team Fight as Tarzan uses his whole health bar? And that is somehow the ace. How does Griffin do this? Watch the fight here. This is better terrain than Griffin have usually had to fight on. Chovy gets in the back line. This is what we couldn't see Smep do. Inflict pain onto Sang Yoon. He's out of the fight, not doing damage. No Rangers focus uptime. And then watch the entrance here. Snipes down Boom. Bono. Great time from Viper. As Chovy can get into the back line, this is Akali and the Kaisa played at the highest level. This is Griffin. And they fight back from what seemed like an almost unwinnable scenario. And with vision now fully cleared, and the Baron's gonna go down really fast. Yep, like I mentioned, TT should stay on their side of the jungle. They shouldn't go down. They're too much in too much of a detriment right now. So just try to hold the ramp, wait until the Baron is low, and chance for the steal. Viper's tag. Teen goes for the death sentence, sets up the Shirelias once again. Mako running in, flashes bird immediately. Showstopper in the back line, and Viper Ooh. finds the mark. The face breaker hits three people, and it's sleepy sleep time for TT. Just like TT, Clement, they're going to drop this one and EDG are going to run it into the base. No Mark's position. Russian TP's in early here to make sure that he's with the team. This is a team fight Fiora. Not usually ideal. There's a great bubble comes out from Scout. Jackson of actually cleansing super late on that one. And boom! <laughs> Viper is here. Kiss the ring, top esports. And now the rest of the follow up make on with a double play. It's too beautiful. Xiao Sheng chasing them down one by one. Gets himself a double as top esports are just destroyed. Where is immune though? And Scout underneath the tower right now gets away on the dark passage. By Scout does not have the Shreema Shuffle just yet. They're going to try and commit to this one on top of the Dragon. They get in, but they do not get the Dragon. That's third Drake here for EDG as the fight ensues. The rest of EDG trying to just keep themselves alive. It is Bubi who falls, but Ooh. they trade it for JJ. <gasps> Massive three-man knockoff. It's a quadra kill out of nowhere for Viper, and they're going to try and gift him over to the Penta. They are going to give him over to him. Viper gets himself a Penta kill. We are going to get it from Viper's side. Just look at the engage coming in. Mark gets stopped by Mako. He's tagged up and this is just a Viper waiting for his time to strike. He's very comfortable on the side, goes and gets one kill, the reset, and into three, man. Oh. oh, that was just so damn hype. It was so quick, so decisive, and disgustingly good. Gonna have to use that ultimate. Does have that one available as the Void Seeker lands onto Sangu. Misses. Misses the ultimate from Tarzan as in goes the hands. Gets the quickness as Viper right into the back line. Key's going to be taken out, but Sung Yoon was the first to go down. Stopwatches are not going to be able to stop this onslaught as Lava is picked off. We're looking for the Pentagill. That's it for Viper. Camille's going to be taking the Infernal Drake, but a freak of freaks they could just to. go straight they to the Baron. to go to Baron. This is the first time they've been able to control the map state in a while. TP comes in early. How's this one going to go? Yep, Teleport is also down there for Keen as well. They want to get five members into this pit as Senen over the side. This Baron is extraordinarily low as there's the Empress by Tarzan. Goes golden. It is going to be the 50 50 as Keen takes down Chovy. And he goes man that steals back the Baron. But will there be anyone left alive? Viper goes gold. Remember, this is AP and so much damage. It's a killer instinct over the wall as Yukal survives for so long, but Viper outplays him. The double kill for the Griffin AD carry. The Void Seeker for the triple. That's the ace, and Griffin have done it. Tarzan is so smart. He dives in and uses stasis instantly because he knows they're going to turn, and of course they are. Uses the stasis because he knows his teammates will help the Baron be chunked down, and in these scenarios, there's a lot of damage going around. Tarzan gets the Baron. He almost gets out as well, but it's Viper free hitting in the front line that gets to clean up. One Void Seeker gets in the back line and sidesteps if you thank you very much with the invisibility. Second one, oh baby. Baron up in 15 seconds, and it's so difficult to approach, right? Because 
Uh, you have the hex. Uh, oh, uh, Chris, Chris, he goes straight in at the four man knockup. Can they actually make this fight work as the Destiny Gate comes out? Look at Viper on the backside of this. Suzy tries to jump in on the JJ. They get the reset though onto one. That's the Lee Sin dead. Double kill for Viper as he starts to try to turn this fight all on its head. But two strip kills all the way back. Triple kill for Viper. It could be a bit more. It's a quadra for Viper. And it's Viper versus Uzi. It's the 280 carries left alive. But man, oh man, I love it. I literally had no idea. I was like, you're actually hexing here. But it worked. He just makes it such a chaotic situation where EDG are all grouped. They're like, what is this guy doing? He gets this massive pulverized. The glacial augment spreads over everyone and it makes things chaotic, right? You see, uh, Maker flashes in to eat Scout, but Scout has already Zonyas. He gets caught out, and look, this is a fight where uh, EDG are really far ahead. The fact it is so close shows how well it went to BLG. The fact that the Scout goes in, gets kicked, goes to land a gold card onto EDG. This was the closest I think we've ever been to a double Penta that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> EDG are looking to pull out on stops on the RA. They have caught them out. I don't know why you even took that hex gate in the first place, RA. And now the team fight may be just going their way. iBoy has the Infernum. He's able to do a lot of AoE damage. Viper is now going away, though. Viper is still alive. He's trying to kite, but that's an iBoy at full health. He's still alive. Wait, that's a double what? kill for iBoy. He's got the Ren stacks. No, no, no. It's still down to Viper what? being the better ADC. All right, to the bottoms. Oh, Flash, get the Shockwave off as well. There's a Solar Flare down and Beishong is dead. They will get the Depth Charm off though. And that's going to be the rest of the team kind of pushing in on top of Mako. Maybe they send a little bit too far forward. Trade one for one. I kind of feel like that's a little bit more worth for Team WE. Whoa, Jomong! Going in far, far too deep, but the fight will ensue. Missing, trying to go in there. They get not get the shuffle off. It's a double here for triple for Viper. And this game has gone from absolutely nothing to absolutely everything. Three fourths to flash away. The Immortal Shield Ball will only keep him so healthy. And that's the game. And for a composition that we said relies on them finding these really strong fights, JJ. I love the way JJ and Scout have been utilizing this Oriana pick. We saw it with the Hecarim. We're seeing it again with the Udyr enabling him so well. Bit unfortunate for Mako. Like, he did go in with the Cena Blade right as he died. I was like, oh crap, this is not where I want to be. But either way, this from Viper, beautiful. Gale Force in behind Jum Monk to then get all those feathers recalled straight into the Kaisen. Those feathers were about half a second away from disappearing. That is the difference. That is the difference between knowing that and not knowing that. About to turn Mega, keep your eyes on him. Tian goes for the 1v1. Hero's entrance in to try and protect the jungler as well. Don't be on the back line. In comes Flandre, but the stop punch has come on through. Flandre with a huge Nar ultimate. Maybe this is it, but FBX still firing out. Viper. In goes Viper. Turning no. around. No what? way. What? How does Viper do it? How does he manage the triple kill at the most crucial point of the game? Viper is without a doubt the best AD carry in the league and he proves it here in the final. Yeah, we're gonna see here going straight oh. into the replay, right? FPX found the picks, they set this one up by just killing Mega, but EDG playing such a good job. We see Flandre about to turn Mega. Isn't able to CC that many members down, but you still find the initial pick. But look at Viper. He's left untouched. Already picked up the first kill. Gale forces to go in. Has the burst. Crescendum Severum. The most sustained in DPS you can have. To try and get the flank as the teleport comes in. They're away from the Drogas KT. Have made it a 4v4. And Sneb turns up with the AoE damage. Toby goes golden in the middle of the fight and gets the disdain on the Aatrox who can't do anything. Blobblitz now in the in amongst this fight is death will be able to clean them up, and that's the kill. Going over to KT, can they get more? Score, looking for the Arctic Assault, they're under the turret now as Devour is gonna spit out Claude. Oh! It's a lower cooldown as, oh my god, the damage! Onto Yukal, and Chovy gets out once again. Death yes. is excited, flashes, gets the second, into the third, no! Bye -bye. And Viper's popping up in the back line. This is a Kaiser that shouldn't be this strong yet, but he is. He's able to do it, can he get the fourth? Oh, it's so close to the Quadra kill, and Griffin with the god tier team fight. And let's have a look at how it all happened, because I honestly feel like that was a game five moment happening in game one.
Armada started this one off beautifully. The setup here for Griffin is not ideal. Sword has most of the gold, he's not in the fight. Togi's low on you think, surely someone would go down. But because Zack is the only person they can kill, Griffin knows that Jinx won't be excited and able to reposition for a little while, so they can mostly disengage. From here, they're chasing in and they know one more kill, full health death, the fight's over. So under the turret, the silence is big, they take down one. But I must admit, I think everyone saw this kill come in and thought it was all over, and Viper had other ideas. Somehow Death actually picked up Tower Aggro there. I'm, he must have been pretty upset about that one as this switch around of the aggro. The tower doing so much work here for Griffin, but Viper's positioning exquisite throughout the whole fight. When will they find it? What's the play? Forward they go. They might have knocked him down. Puts down the pool, but is there, there enough go. damage? They're going to try. They ult over the top, but it's already a two for zero. Viper doesn't die, but one finally comes through. It's up to Jackie Love, but he gets stunned. Clutch from Tarzan, but Morgana Viper. can't find it either. Viper stays alive. That's the full pentakill when they needed it most. Exactly what Viper has needed to do this series. He stands tall. Through the flank, he gets the pentakill, and finally, Griffin find their Baron. So watch what IG does. Shy walks forward again. They can't quite 100 to zero him, which means he gets it down. And here comes Rookie. Flashes over, and it's like a jump scare. He comes out for the backline, but just doesn't have the backup from Jackula. But notice what Viper did in this fight. He utilized everything. He dodged the Kiana ultimate with his ultimate. He used the stopwatch perfectly. He cleansed. His hex drinker popped. Every defensive tool he brought, he was able to use in this fight to pick up the Penta. And now we get it from the pro view to really fully appreciate Watch this it. reaction time. Oh. Point 0.1 of a second is enough. And remember, this was all with Jovi not there. He only gets there at the end to have the front row seats, the pentakill coming through from Viper.